This is News 10 at 6 with Dale Shornack and Christina Mendonza. Thanks for joining us tonight. Police agencies are coming under fire for in-custody deaths, one of the most recent with the Woodland Police Department. With that as a backdrop, Yolo County has started training police officers and sheriff's deputies how to better deal with people with mental disabilities or drug problems. News 10's George Warren shows us how the training works. I'd ask if you can put the knife down for me right now, okay? How do you get the guy to drop the knife? when he's really threatening nobody but himself. Ma'am, can you, if, could you help us out and ask your husband to put down the knife? In a conference room at the Woodland Community Center, ma'am, these police ma officers are practicing dialogue with a man pretending to be mentally unstable. With that knife, we can't accomplish anything right now, okay? The actors are actually mental health professionals who teach cops how to communicate. Many of the scenarios are actually real calls that have come in and we give it our own special twist with our um, experience working with a variety of different uh, diverse populations. Perhaps one quarter of all police calls involve some sort of mental illness or drug use. We're teaching them to slow things down, allow people to process information. Good job, excellent job guys. Yolo County's crisis intervention training coordinator is a retired cop with 30 years field experience. We're trying to make for better contacts between folks with mental illness and, and police because you know sometimes it, it's just not a really good combination i think it overall went well and I, I enjoyed it and learned from it police officers spend hundreds of hours learning to use their weapons i'm feeling a little bit of a threat with him with a knife in his hand okay crisis intervention training offers them an alternative in woodland george warren news 10. Yellow County plans to offer the crisis intervention training two or three times a year to give all its sheriff's deputies, police and probation officers a chance to take